What's up everybody? My name is John Evans. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, build one of these little wine bottle displays. I'm sure y'all have seen these before. I know there's probably tons of videos out there in the YouTube world, but that's okay. The way I figure it, even if there's one more video and I catch that one person that hasn't seen this done before, that's a good thing. So let's get started. To start off, I pulled out a piece of walnut from my wood collection. I think it was four quarter thick and obviously very rough cut. From there I proceeded to break it down using the bandsaw. Once done with the bandsaw, it was off to the joiner to prepare one side for flatness. The way I like to look at it is if the cup of the wood is a letter U, you want the U to be upside down while running the wood through the jointer. Then when I had one side flat, I could run it through the planer. It's always nice to see the grain come through when getting rid of the rough sawn marks. I then decided to run one edge through the table saw just to get a clean edge so that I could then trace on the pattern of the bottle holder. I had already made one bottle before, but I didn't like the design and I accidentally drilled the hole off center anyway. From that point, I could cross cut off some excess wood. As well as the 45 degree angle that would become the bottom of the stand. Then I took the piece off to the bandsaw to cut off as much material as possible. From here I took it to my spindle sander to get it down to the line I had traced earlier. Pulling out an inch and three eighths Forstner bit, I put it in the drill press and drill the hole through about three quarters of the way up the piece. Using my trim router and a small roundover bit, I rounded off all the edges of the bottle holder.
Then it's time for everybody's favorite time. Sand, sand, sand. I ended up sanding this down to 220 grit. Using some Danish oil, well, because it's the only thing I had in my shop, I applied three coats of the, to the bottle holder. What's your favorite finish for walnut? Let me know down in the comments below. Not yet. That's my shop buddy number one you can hear in the background. He's three years old That's and getting true. to the point where he really likes hanging out in the shop with me. After it's dry, there's nothing left to do but put your favorite bottle of wine in it and display it in your favorite spot. Thanks for watching.